the Venga bus is coming and, and everybody's jumping. jumping. I don't know the words, to be honest. Bro, I had such a big milkshake on the walk here. Oh, that's a weird choice. It's no, quite warm out. It was warm out, <laughs> and that's why I was like, I need something cold. Okay. And I already had a Coke over lunch. I was like, I need a milkshake. I just Shit, got that dude. craving. Yeah. And it's just too much milk in my stomach. Yeah, I feel like at a certain age, we're not meant to drink that much milk. Yeah, well, you're just not used to it. Your body's not, like, because you have coffees. Like, I'm mm. used to the coffee size mm. of milk, but a milkshake's big. Yeah. I feel ill. Yeah. Yeah. I rarely finish one and I'm like, I feel good. I feel good. I felt great for the two thirds of it. And then I'm like, there's a lot here. And then I'll tell you what's brutal when you get like a lot of American places do it, like the shake and burger. Oh. It's literally like, oh. fuck. Just <laughs> You're going to vomit. Oh, yeah. The fuck, Elvis. It tastes so good, though. Yeah. So, yeah, that was my day today. That'd be cool if you shit yourself on this podcast. Oh, I won't shit myself. Oh, I save, save that oh, for come sex. come on, man. We need the content. <laughs> save oh, that for wow. sex. Hey, uh, hey oh. Welcome back to the Tom and Frenchie podcast. Hello to all our international listeners. Ni hao. Konnichiwa. We've got a huge episode for you today. Oh, We've yeah. We've got new movie TV show reviews. We're dealing with all the latest goss from the royal world. Oh, wow. We might even get on a call with Princess... Uh, Mary to find out where she's been. Princess Mary. I always call her Mary. Uh, Kate. Kate. You never They're learn. boring names, but both of them. Yeah. I they think sh- they have I want, to be. I wonder if they all the royals get in like a WhatsApp chat. They just look at the Bible. That's the only book they have. No, that's yeah. not. They Kate, do not follow Kate's the Bible. Kate's not in there? No, they do some satanistic shit. But I mean like the Euro royals. Oh. I feel like, like, okay, I feel like all the women who marry in are in their own chat so they can, like, let off steam. Like, mm. Kate um, married in with William, Mary from Tasmania. I reckon they've linked up and be like, yo, yeah, what's your what's WhatsApp? Poppin'? And then there's got to be, like, another 30, 40-year-old woman who's like, yo. Megan Ma- Markle. Yeah, they're yeah. all in the same chat. They're hanging out, bitching yep. about their husbands. Yeah. They'd be such duds, wouldn't they? Oh, Yes. He, all right, they how much def- fun can you have with that kind of money with, I don't know. How many socks on would William have sex with? Wait, wait, I said that wrong. He has sex with socks on, but I don't even think it's one pair. I reckon he does like three pairs. See, my mind when he puts them on his cock, like <laughs> no. red hot chili pepper style, he wears three socks on his cock and they're all ankle socks. <laughs> like like flea. Well, we might as well get straight into the Royal News then. Yeah, it's been popping off today. Um like the sighting, did you hear it? She got no, sighted. No, tell me about the sighting. So like TMZ like a UFO. picked it up. Yeah, she was walking through a village, <laughs> like a Chinese balloon. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, walking through a village. Yeah, just walking through a village. They got some footage, but people are like even like looking at the footage, being like, I don't know if it's real. Is it really her? Apparently, there was tinsel in the background on something, and they're like, Why would there be tinsel this time of the year? And then I looked at it, I'm like. That might not be tinsel, but I like the energy. So why is she at the village? I don't know what village it was, but I don't know, living. No, but she doesn't live in a village. Well, it might be a city, but it's Was she in rehab, maybe? I don't know. That would actually make the most sense. No, but people think it's not even her. People are saying it's like a fucking... She's dead. She's dead. They're just doing plant shit. And I guess they can't do another funeral because they just had one. Everyone's like, oh, boring. Save save it for another year or two. Yeah, because people were looking at that photo... I was about to put this on my Instagram. I'll just mm. show you because it's on my computer. <laughs> I think that's an actor. I photoshopped myself as her. <laughs> it, looks it looks so, so funny. Good. It looks like Tim Minchin. The forehead's so big. That is a uh, huge forehead. Yeah, because people are saying it's an actor and shit playing her. But ex- that has to be, there's a few options. Mm. Actor playing her. Earlier photo, like they're saying it was Christmas, tinsel. This is just so footage is she that- dead? There's a 50% chance she's dead, I'd yeah. say, and that's But then if she's the dead, road. like, how long are they going to fucking play this game? Because people are already sus. Well, I think maybe they got to take a while for the actor, the fill-in, to get all the work mm. done to look like her. Oh, so you're thinking full off to Korea, mm. get some fucking... What they should have done is said, oh, she's been attacked by bees... That's good. She's going to get some facial work done. To I feel like there's probably an actor down. that already looks like her, but be stung. And then you can, yeah, and be stung. And then mm. you've got the excuse, oh no, she got attacked by bees. That's why any yeah. like little differences you're noticing. But they do analyze everything to get it perfectly. Mm. It would take yeah, some Yeah, they'd be months. looking at freckles and shit at old photos. You know, they get real. It's like the conspiracy about Avril Lavigne not being her. Who, that who's one? that? Avril Lavigne. 
Oh, did they did they swap? <laughs> No, <laughs> like the holiday. I'm saying they she's swapped gonna... lives for a bit. No one noticed. I'm saying she got replaced <laughs> as well. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, but she's not famous enough that anyone cares. They're like, oh, probably she's pretty famous compared to Queen. Not compared, but she's famous, bro. Nah, Skater yeah. Boy, are you kidding? But me? the Royals love a bit of person swap and a bit of murder. Oh, who knows with those freaks? Yeah, I think realistically, we're saying murdering. Mm. Um, they saying it's a. L- liver operation or something but that doesn't make sense because you get a photo in the hospital about to go in and then one is out of surgery how active are they on socials i don't know if they're like a fucking you know that into it they're not like hey guys what's up well they've got publicists and the publicists Mm. will say it'd be a good idea to get a photo right now yeah um and you document if your wife mother uh, anyone goes into surgery, you'd probably get a photo with them or after. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Yeah, you'd be like, good, if I'm glad you like, didn't I'm die. Going to, going to get a fucking wisdom tooth out, Tom. I'd be like, fucking say, take a up. snap. Peace up. Take a snap, mum. Well, put on socials. I think rehab makes the most sense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would be fucking boring. You'd want to put something in your tea. Bit of meth. Bit of meth tea. Well, you think in meth rehab? I don't know. Have you looked at her teeth? No, not lately, but the, she's English, so you'd never know. The teeth are the first to go. In England, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got you. See what I'm saying? You can't tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. You'd have uh, to look at something else. Uh, and that would make sense why she hasn't got photos of the kids because they can't let. It's usually like pharmaceuticals. She's on mm. like, um, but also it might just be tea. Tea. It's right, they t- palm the teas in England. Yeah. Especially if she's trying to be like, look, I'm a traditional English. Just yeah. start, in- start get- with one tea bag before you know it. Couple in there. Yeah. Black. Black. Black no tea. milk, thanks. No. Oh. No. So so maybe it's her tea addiction. Mm. Or what else would you go to rehab for? I don't know. Like furry? Sex she addict. could be a furry. Yeah, yeah. like a sex addict. Sex like a- addict. Yeah. Wow, like she took all the guards and they can't move. Yeah, they can't move and she's like making them get boners and stuff <laughs> and doing all the work. I haven't seen that. You know how people <laughs> always try and make them smile? You rarely see someone trying to get give those guys a boner. Give those guys a, a rock. Yeah, that'd be rock funny. Hard salute. I, I said maybe that's what's happened. <laughs> mm. She was just taking on just those sucking guards. them off. Just when yeah. you get one done and the They're mate's like, looking over. Please. Please stop. What like, if try not to? They're like, please stop, stop. Kate, stop trying stop. to suck me off. What if? And she has to do it before the the guard change because if she's sucking mm. them off and then they just start marching, they've trampled over her because they don't stop. I've seen those videos mm. where they plow over children. Yeah, they're <laughs> so funny. Get your fucking kid oh, out of the way. They love hitting oh, over I a tourist. L- I love seeing it oh. to be honest because it's the only time they can show them we're dangerous. Oh, yeah, and they've got all that pent-up aggression, like those street performers who have to stand still and people fuck with them. Oh. They're so angry. Oh, and then just a little, just a oh, kid just running in their over way. A fucking Chinese See family and just like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> get a photo of this. <laughs> Maybe it frees them when she sucks them off. They get freed and they're like, <laughs> they're like brainwashed slaves. Yeah, okay. For the queen, I'm just, and then it's like, oh, I wanted to be a, a boatsmith. I wanted to be a oh. sailor. They're like fully like brain. Yeah, like the ice queen, like they get frozen. But mm. It's like a sleeping beauty. Once you suck them off, I they can, wake up. Yeah. I can see her working on her uh, grinding and what's that called? Where you fucking get the oh, backing it up, yeah, twerking. backing it, twerking it yep. into them because <laughs> she's all. I think she was probably um, <laughs> self conscious about her twerking skills, so she practiced oh, yeah. on the guards. I feel like she'd have a flat butt. Mm, exactly, and so. That's why she would practice on them, yeah. and then if she can get her flat butt to get that boner, yeah. happy days. Oh yeah! And then yeah, William came out once, saw her. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? And the kids maybe saw her too. Yeah, that's that's hard. I like the thought of her breaking it down to gangster rap music too. Mm. Just and the saying the word. Alone, she says it. She says it. But she says it in a nice way. Yeah, in a posh voice, it sounds. In a different. posh voice. As it, while she's enjoying the song. She doesn't say it like the mm, rest of the royals say mm. it. It's a soft R. Mm, it's a soft R. Mm. I think she's got the pass. Maybe. I think. Uh, who are we to say? <laughs> <laughs> who are we to say? <laughs> um, the other thing that came out when all this is going off, yesterday mm. on Twitter, King Charles starts trending. 
And we're like, oh, what's going on here? Looked it up. Um, apparently, there was Russian news reports that he was dead. Dead too. Mm, there was an oh. official release looking document that was fake saying he died. Um, people started panicking. <sighs> Then they had and to come out with a statement back to that, being like, he's not dead. Did, did they show bitch. a photo to prove he's not dead, or did they just do a statement? I think it was just a statement. No, yeah. he's dead then. Definitely I reckon, dead. I reckon everyone Definitely might be dead. dead. Definitely dead. That's how it starts, I think it? they've got weak immune systems, the Royals. I mean, they don't get out much. No. It's like our kids from COVID that we're mm. all at home. Mm. Yeah, they had they to th- come out and lick some fucking <laughs> armpits. <laughs> I don't know if well, that is too much inbreeding. That that weakens the bloodline. They're like the McBoyles from mm. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Mm. They're like the McBoyles. <laughs> well, he's. It's only a matter of time, and it would be good to get the first scoop. Oh yeah, I think we should start prepping because that's what news um, people do. They'll be like, "This person's getting old. Let's draft." an obituary kind of thing mm. for if they do, we'll be the first to do it. Yep. So maybe we should like pre-record something just for when it happens. Cause it's got to be close. Okay. Okay. That's a great idea. Maybe, maybe like, pretend- you want to do an eulogy or we're breaking the news? Ah, uh, that's a great question. Let me see if I can get some then news we- music. We've got to guess what he died of. Um, what do you reckon? <laughs> We've got to guess what he died of. Yeah. <sighs> well, he's got he's cancer, got those, but I think that's yeah. too obvious. His hands are very swollen. Do you know? I think that's too obvious. Okay. His hands are swollen. Yeah, something to do with swollen hands and red. Well, he's got very red skin. He's just red, isn't he? He's a red man. He's turning into a hot dog. Okay, yeah, I've got some. Um, it should be non-copyright. Okay. <laughs> Breaking news today, King Charles has died. He has been hit by a horse. (laughs) Out of all the guesses, it was a freak accident. Wait, wait. First reports have come in that Prince Charles died after watching a horse walk downstairs. The horse tripped down the stairs, bowled into him and killed him. Second reports say that it was actually his wife, Camille, not a horse that ran into him, causing him to die. Third reports have said that it was the cancer. That is far-fetched and we don't think it was that. Do you have anything on the ground here, uh, E. Ernie? Just a quick note. Um, okay, hang on. So, you're English? I went, well. not to, I went to be a news reporter. Okay. But were we Tom and Frenchie? Is that what you're saying? I mean, <laughs> how many lies do you want to make up in one well, thing? Well, I, I went... There's a lot of I layers. I went that we were first on the ground in England breaking it. Okay. I went into character and you want to be... I think I think you're... I was leaning towards more of a... Okay, you, you go from your, okay, yep, your style. Okay. Um, same like news report. I like the music. Everyone forget what I just did. That was a different... Take one. Um, there's no wrong answers in improv. That's what we say. Yes. Uh, this yeah. might be a completely different scene. We'll see where Tom goes with it. Mm. <laughs> I made myself laugh. I was going to go Chinese. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is huge news. It just came in. King Charles has sadly passed away. Oh. Um, I know there was rumours for quite some time. And the rumours that he had cancer has finally come to fruition. Um, The next in line for the throne, everyone's talking about that. Are they coming in? What are they going to say? In a strange trajectory, it is actually Meghan Markle is the new Queen of England. Wow. There you go. (laughs) So you just went serious fake news. Mm. No, no, no. No, because this is like, we're going to keep this on file. Oh, okay. And then first news, boom. Boom. Podcast already out. Okay. Um, (laughs) Can we do it one more time? Oh, yeah. I didn't nail that. We're German news team. Oh, finally. Reporting on the King's death. Okay. We don't know what how... This time we need to say okay. how he died, full details. Oh, um, we are going to say it? Yes, yes, okay. yes. We've already got the other one locked in. Um, oh, that was no good. Yeah. Okay, German. Guten Morgen. Good, uh, not a guten Morgen, actually. Uh, King Charles of England has died. <laughs> we are very sad over here in Germany. First reports come out that he is no longer breathing and is dead. 
It is very sad news to hit us here in Germany. Uh, they're going to have one coffin for the king and two separate coffins for his hands. How he will be uh, brought into the afterlife, we are not sure. He may be crumbed like a schnitzel, uh, or he may be boiled like a Frankfurt. There are many different ways the royals like to uh, cremate themselves in the afterlife. In yeah. uh, what is tradition, mm. is in the streets of London today. Yes. Where'd my accent go? Yes. Das ist German. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, das yeah, ist yeah. German. In a normal... <laughs> In traditional English customs, <laughs> I can't do German today. <laughs> what is the traditional English custom, yeah? He will be taken to the streets of London, yeah, and everyone will throw crumpets at his body. Oh, yeah, crumpets and tea bags. And if you're especially upset, you pull out a tooth, one of the <laughs> few remaining teeth the English have, and they, yeah, they throw it. Onto mm. the puffy red skinned man and say, Take this tooth with you to the afterlife. Um, in other news, Bayern Leverkusen won on the weekend. Go team! Yeah! That was good. Okay. Um, I mean, those are something. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous today because I've got my laptop in front of me. Very rarely do we have this mm. much access to our <laughs> sounds, <laughs> sounds and props. I am, I'm for it. <laughs> it's giving me a new energy. I mean, uh, a new lust for life. That's funny. I want to. Um, so you, wait. Uh, are you still so in royals? If, if he died, yes. it would be the young boy, wouldn't it? He'd be king, like a little Joffrey. We situation. went through this two weeks we ago. We did. No. Immediately forgot until yeah, I was thinking about it yesterday. Um, William's first son. Yeah, it's fucking wild. No, William. It's William. It's got to be William. William. Yeah. But isn't he out of the royals because he no. married Megan? No, no, no. That's no, Harry. That's Harry. Harry. Oh, I thought and we he were was already out when he got red hair. Damn. Like, no, no, no. Well, who knows how many more they're going to. If they've knocked off Kate and uh, Charles. Yeah. They're going to knock off a few more. Who knows where we'll end up. It's Game of Thrones in real life. Because if one of those children get in, we should invade or something. You know, oh. like it's an opportunity. But it'd be A so child's much... making the decisions? I get what let's you're go. saying. <laughs> At least let's go to visit because it'd be so much more fun. Oh, not visit. No, but they're doing all we the rules and stuff. Nuke? Huh? Casual nuke? Why? Single? Just one? The child's not going to last long. He'll be walking across the ground. In front of the guard, and he'll the guard will start marching and bowl him over, mm. and then we've got a new child. Either king. that will get an erection. Okay, nah. we're going to move on because <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about accidental deaths. We're talking about um, suspicious deaths with Kate yep. and Charles allegedly. Uh, we're not going to get sued. Do, you're not following the bow, Boeing situation. Boeing, Boeing. You've never heard the word Boeing. Frenchie was like, Tom, I got a new story I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about Boeing. I was like, what the fuck is that? I legitimately was when not the even guard, taking the beers. I thought it was when the guard got the stiffy. Because I'm looking at the word in front of me yeah. and it's reading like Boeing. It's and Boeing. I'm, Boeing, yeah. Boeing, Boeing. Boeing, Boeing. Yes, yes. Boeing, airplanes. So the plane. Yes, okay. So there's a big trial going on in America. Right. There's a whistleblower. He's been blowing whistles for a few years now, seven years or so. Oh. He worked in safety for Boeing, and mm -hmm. he's like, yo, there's some shit going on there, brushing things aside. Things are dodgy. I'm reporting mm. them. They're not fixing them, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Ends up getting in a civil suit with them, has to, has to um, testify. So he's testifying against them. He's against... not defending himself for defamation or something? No, he's testifying yeah, okay. against them. Um and because and, and also things have happened, planes have crashed and doors have blown open. What he's like said, yep. it's like a, in America. Okay, um, he's testified two days. He's going to do his final third day. Mm. Found dead by suicide. Yeah, wow. Um, he was found dead in a truck parked in a hotel uh, lobby. Ample reasons to question this narrative. Okay. Um, he was a quality manager, should I say, for thirty-two year career. Like it's not like he's trying to get a payout. He's legitimately yep. he's old as fuck. Um, no, and the suit charges Boeing with harassing him on the job, stalling any promotions, and ultimately forcing him to leave the company ten years before he planned to retire. And so I'm just saying, this guy seems legit. He's done his two days. He's tired. He says he's going to do the third day. Did not arrive in court. Lawyers checked the hotel where he was staying. They found him dead with a gunshot wound to his head. In a truck? 
in his truck. Now, America, everyone's got a gun. Mm. It means nothing so far. The, apparently, um, the co- Charleston coroner ruled that the cause of death was a self-inflicted ru- wound. And the police report stated the officers have found a white piece of paper resembling a note near Barnett's body. However, Barnett's lawyers immediately challenged the claim, claiming that their client's death was a suicide. Uh, challenged that it was a suicide. They released a statement saying, "We didn't see any indication he would take his own life. No one can believe it. The police need to f- investigate it properly." Yeah. Um, and one of his family friends, Jennifer, told an ABC affiliate on March 15 that Barnett had warned her. If anything happens to me, it's not suicide. Yeah. That's suspicious as well. That's suspicious. Yeah. And it's when it's those big... uh, Corporations. And especially when it's in... Is Charleston, like, North Carolina or something? Yeah. Yeah, dude. They get the cops in on it? They've had some crazy history, those fucking... Bro, how hard would it be to get a cop in on it say it's a suicide? Yeah. Or even just a lazy cop. Like, oh, guns there. What am I going to do? Like, full follow-up some... Yeah. Bro, and, and then the whole story is just sus. Like, it's just about how much he would have costed the company, blah, blah, blah. How, how long he's been trying to whistle, bro, for. It's scary, man. Bro, hectic, yeah. eh? That'd Only, be interesting. Did you know two Boeing, Boeing plane crashed? 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 <laughs> Fuck He's <it>. malfunctioning. <laughs> I need the newsreader music back. Do you know they crashed in 2018 and 2019? I did not know American planes crashed. Um, just American? I feel like we have Boeing's here, bro. Well, it's like the main plane. But I feel like seven four seven. I feel like shit. when a plane crashes, you know. But I, I swear, I, I, I know. feel like I do once in a while see shit about planes crashing. Yeah, well, that's what I was just reading up more uh, about. Certain times, air, these aircrafts are fucked up, and and blah blah blah, and how much money they make the American economy. Boeing. Yeah. Fuck, that's insane. Those conspiracies are scary. Yeah, because that's there's those all there's such good movies when it's about that, and then they're they're based in fact. Things yeah. like that happen. Like back in the day, like with police corruption and shit, like when it was more prevalent, like that shit would happen <sighs> all the time, dude. Like people just I would have loved to be a shit. crooked cop. Yeah, yeah, not a racist one. No, just cr- just like, crooked. I mean, I understand it when it's like they find a bunch of drug money. Yeah. And they're like, fuck, like I'm getting paid peanuts. I'm doing all this work. This is drug dealers' money. They're going to jail anyway. This is just going to go to the. They don't need the money. Where's the money going? Yeah, I don't even know the where the money goes. The chief's probably going to take a cut. Oh, yeah. Then the politician will take a cut and then they'll do it to some shitty taxes thing that we don't want to pay for anymore. Mm. They'll change a the traffic light from a male to a woman again or some shit like that. It's like, that's what you put <laughs> yeah. the money in for? Millions. Bro, yeah. just some, give it to Centrelink or someone. No. I get it when it's oh, that shit. Oh, yeah. You can take... Okay. Yeah. I think there's levels... If you're like, a cop... Like bro- planting drugs on someone and making them go to jail forever is fucked up. Depends all that on the person. Mm, if true. they're a criminal, if they've done if worse... If you're sure. If, if you're sure yeah. they've done worse, they're bragging about murders to you. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I've I mean, murdered heaps. <laughs> and they're bragging about I feel about like it. you could probably No, you yeah, can't. Because it's like, prove it. You know how they like they but do all this tongue and it. cheek stuff? Oh, gee. Yeah. 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 Can't believe that Stacy girl crashed her car. Oh, I murdered her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the royals, those yeah. sons of bitches. So you can only plant jar- drugs if they've, you know they've done a worse crime and you're putting mm. them away. Mm. Um, you can also take drugs, but you still have to keep enough for the conviction. Okay. If you're confiscating drugs. We're saying if there's policemen listening and they want to know whether they can be, what levels of crooked they can do. Well, they've got to replace the powder with the same weight that they snorted. Uh, Yeah, cut it. So the crime's the same. You're thinking cut it. Yeah. And then everyone thinks they're selling dodgy stuff and they'll get, they'll get jumped. Mm. No cred. Um, What other fun crooked things can you do? Speeding, so, obviously. Oh, yeah, obviously. Um, Come and skip in lines at water parks. Oh, yeah. But you've got to go in uniform. Down the slide. <laughs> Good with yeah. that be seeing policemen in uniform? That'd be awesome. Just cutting lines and they're right. just wet ass. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending like they didn't. Just... Yo, what, 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 what you do, no, no, what you do is you hire, fuck, maybe, maybe one person, criminal looking person, maybe like some face tats. Mm. Um. He's got board shorts on, and then he can have like a, a wife beater singlet, 
Um, and then he just runs through and just keeps going on all the rides and the cops are chasing him down the slide and they go, which one are we going next? Oh, let's get the snake one. They and then they chase run him. And they chase him. Yeah, sorry, we're after him. And he's just like, ah. And they're like, woo, down the slides. <laughs> <laughs> Make a day out of it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of fun being a cop. It's not all serious. Oh, you're a cop now? Yeah, I'm a crooked cop. Yeah, cool. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right, I asked our fans some questions last week um, and I've got some left over, but then I also asked them another question. I had to break it up because we got a lot of good answers. Oh, People are sending through some gold on Tom and Frenchy Instagram. Tom okay. and Frenchy Instagram. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing it and I'm going to give you some questions that I'm going to ask next week if you want to start thinking about it at the end of the episode. Please do. But um, I asked them what's grinding their gears. <sighs> you know, shit that's pissing people off. Because I, I like to know that stuff. Here's what we got. Um, people asking you questions about a movie or show when you're both watching it for the first time. Oh, yeah, that grinds my gears. Oh, oh that grinds my gears. Yeah, don't you reckon? It's like um, if you watch a film with like your mum or... Yeah, I don't want to say there's a predominantly a gender that does that, but... <laughs> or an age. <laughs> you yeah. Yeah. make your own mind up. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Who's he? I don't know. He's just... You're... I don't know what's happening. Yeah, and you're not meant to know yet. We've watched you know? as much as uh, each other, okay? Yeah. Like, they've made that a plot point. You don't know what's happening mm. yet. You're going to find out. And mm. if you don't, it's a shit movie. Do you ever get the one where they just ask random questions? Like, fucking what? Like what? Like, do you think he has super? Like, what the fuck? That's got nothing to do <laughs> with it. My mum says the roguish <laughs> shit. Like, we'll be watching. And it, it's annoying when I'm by myself mm. with just me and mum. But if Tonya's there, it's so funny because we both like obviously oh, yeah, realize, look at each other, yeah. look at each other, and start fucking giggling because Mum will be like, "Oh, oh, he's here," and she'll say something that doesn't even make sense. Oh, he's he's a wizard. we will be like, "This is a fucking like documentary." Where, where did she? <laughs> <laughs> where do you think she got that jumper from? <laughs> Last night in in bed, I was she, um, I was going to watch my my bed show. Yeah, Meg's like you can put it on, and I'm like, no, nah, just I'll just wait till you're in settled because I knew she was gonna like talk to me mm. while she was getting ready, mm. and, and it was fine. So I just didn't start it. <laughs> Doesn't talk to me the whole time. She's getting changed, yeah. putting on her face. As soon as I press play, blah 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 blah. I'm like, I pause. It. I'm like, okay, what what do you want to talk about? She goes, oh no no no, just nothing. Just <laughs> I can imagine. Do you need a water? Aggressive. You do you need a water? You... <laughs> just fuck. That's so funny. <laughs> Hilarious. Grinds my gears. Oh, so that's one. And then there was another one around the same theme, which was people repeating what someone says on the TV. I can hear and don't need the unnecessary commentary. Well, sometimes I do. Sometimes if it's related to the first question, oh, so you know they're about to ask what's going on. So I'll say that's his boyfriend. <laughs> So passive. No, but you just say there's a fact she's going to ask. Who's that guy? That's his boyfriend. He's just said. <laughs> the way you said it really made me laugh. No, oh, that's man. his boyfriend. She's like, dude, I'm not even watching. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, no, you need it. You need it. I, I, that's kind of they're kind of contradictory because sometimes you do need to repeat. Yeah. If they're on their phone too, and you know they didn't see see yeah. it or hear it. Oh, you have to start reading out subtitles. You're like, oh, at the start of movies as well when it says some text and they're not paying mm. attention. We're in 1995 right now. It's a flashback, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they're like doing yeah, something. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Allied forces have just invaded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Walmart. <laughs> um, cancel culture, e.g. they make... Okay, let me try again. This person says, cancel culture, e.g. they make... You wouldn't be able to make American pie today. That's what they were saying. I actually think you could. No, gonna... so there's been articles lately saying um, the opposite. Saying that it's getting cancelled by Gen Z and stuff. Oh, Gen Z are yeah, watching off American, American Pie. Pie. Yeah, I don't hang out with Gen Zs anymore. Yeah, but there was like news articles. Oh, they're, they're watching it. They're watching it, going, <laughs> "Oh, I can't believe Jim illegally filmed it. He did. That was a. If you think about it, that's, <laughs> that's a bit illegal. Yeah, I think what so made like, it. Sometimes it makes sense, you know. Like, yeah, we love that movie. Set up a hidden but, webcam. And the whole school and it's watching quite it glorified, naked. and they're watching this poor fucking exchange. Dude. I think there's certain scenes that wouldn't make the cut, but you yeah. can still do. The, I'm guaranteed they'll do the same concept in like four years. I think what makes it those sort of movies okay is when they cast thirty year olds. <laughs> To play year 12. I think that was that era. No, no, I actually that. genuinely believe if you're doing a slutty sex comedy, even if they're supposed to be in year 12, make the actors 28, 30, yeah. 25. Yeah. Sometimes they cast them too young and it's just fucking weird. Yeah. 
Even though they look, they are more high schools. They're close to age. I don't like mm. it. I want to see that fucking foreign girls, big thirty year old milkers. Do you know what I mean? I'll tell you what. And then you're not feeling weird about him filming and watching because she's already had that happen to her in life. She's thirty. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll tell you what contradicts that that I think <laughs> of. That. that I think of in the Elvis movie, they did a good job making her look fucking young, even though she wasn't, mm. because it made Elvis more creepy in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, but that's not a fun it's like sex comedy. That's yeah. supposed to be a dramatic. Oh, come on, Elvis, bro. No, it wasn't. It was. You weird. think that was a fun know. comedy? No, it was weird though. Yeah, they weren't like saying. He's the worst. But Al's related to Elvis being in um, Las Vegas. I just read some article that Bruno Mars has signed on to do Vegas residency for like five years because he had a, has a mad gambling problem and owes them $50 million or something. Yeah, I saw an article that said that wasn't true. Is That's that the not article true? I saw. Because I was like getting yeah. the itch. I was like, oh, yeah. me and Bruno. It's funny though. I'd I think, love I think to they hit they the do pokies work with Bruno, Sometimes, bro. like um, in their contracts, they'll be like, I'm performing at this casino f- forever. Mm. Can I get some money to play with after? And I'll chuck shit in. That is so weird. Just have $100 million and then still need to gamble. Yeah. Yeah, what are you even doing it for? Ah, oh, the rush, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I what get al- it. What else is grinding our listeners' gears? Okay, we got some car related ones, which is classic. People in the zoom zoom lane <laughs> that drive the speed limit find the accelerator before I rear end you. They got angry at the end. <laughs> no, that's fair. No, no, no. Yeah. I think. Like, it's just common sense. Like, you overtake and go back in. I think what we need for fix people in the zoom zoom lane is you press a button and it comes up on your top of your car mm. and it's a countdown. It's a 20 oh, second kind of countdown. Like a Mario Kart situation. Yeah, so you're looking in the rear view, it's like, oh, that car's. They actually don't look in the rear view, that's why they're always so slow because they're just fucking idiots. <laughs> but they, if they look in the rear view, it starts 20, 19, mm. 18, and then it starts counting. When it gets to 10, we hear noise 10, 9, and if it gets to zero, ding, ding, ding. Then you can rear end them. Yes. Get out I the agree. lane. Get I out agree. the lane. Or automatic paintballs types shenanigans. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and that's only if they're going the speed limit. I hate it when people like my mom and, and old people, they're like, well, I was going the speed limit, so they would have been speeding. I was saving them for themselves. I was going the speed li- That's not what that fucking lane is for. Yeah. Yeah. I hate it when people go under. Though. And oh, this is the next one. Mate. People who drive under the speed limit for no reason, that is, it's actually dangerous. Because yeah. then people start fucking backing up behind you. Yeah. Underage, <sighs> under the speed limit. Don't do either. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got? Um, when motherfuckers post every day on their FB story, who the fuck asked for it? No one cares. Oh, I love wow. the passion because you know, Kate is thinking about a very specific yep. friend of hers. Yeah, yeah. Well, not like, even a friend, Kate. Well, An acquaintance that, yeah. or like someone she knows. But what not if it one. is a close friend like a sister? Could be. And this is her way Could of be. venting. And then no, this there, one's... There's a lot of boring yeah. people who post and it's like, oh, yeah, every day, long stories, yeah. every day. Mm-hmm. Just, and this one's funny. When girls blog and TikTok, they get ready with me or day in the life of, like they're... They're a celebrity or something. So this guy's just chucking oh, shade wow. at people making TikToks. But they That's going to hurt someone's they start feeling. somewhere, oh, no. though, no. It's so funny. Uh, I know that both of those would be like very specific people they're getting mm. pissed off about, which is so funny mm. to me. Yeah, that's some of the stuff that's grinding our gears. Grinding their fucking gears. Getting them up there. Get grinding. Mm. I love that. We um we did a new material night. A lot of the listeners came. Shout out for coming Thursday, Friday night. Both great fun shows. Mm. Uh, shout out to our everyone who come through. Thursday was a great show. We could <sighs> actually do all our uh, stand up. We wanted to. Oh yeah. And then Friday oh, just classic. I didn't have any ready, but um I stood up there. Classic us trying to perform on a on a night where people are going out and fuck there were a loud crowd. I was just watching people fucking talking. That's so what we said. Um, someone said to me, and then I repeated on stage. It was just like everyone was watching their own movie. Yeah, because that like it was so hard to get everyone focused on me. Oh. They were all just doing their own thing, living their own. Yeah, I feel like they started getting really rowdy in your last bit. And then it went all the way for the rest of the show. Mm. They just kept like chatting. 
I was like, fuck it now. This dude skull was drinking from a jug just casually, and so I drew attention to it. Next time he comes back of a jug, someone yelled at him, goes, skull your jug. And he wasn't going to, and then everyone peer pressured him. So he skulls it. Skull, skull, skull. He skulls it. To congratulate him, Skinner gets him a schooner of beer. He skulls that. And then we saw him after the show, and he was fucking mortal. And this guy was massive. I'd say, like, how tall was he, do you reckon? Oh, like he looked like Tyson Fury. He looked like seven foot tall. Yeah, and then bro, a big, big ogre. Even the security were looking at him like, oh, Don't fuck. want to drag him out. They yeah. did not want to. They they went and got a second security guard and they were just talking about it. And they just could just lead him out because he just <laughs> literally self-spiked himself. <laughs> yeah, he was fucked. Oh, so, so fucked. Funny. Yeah, that was a loose show. That was a great, a great night. Did you end up watching uh, Ricky Stanicki, Tom? I did. We but t- I noticed you assumed that I watched it. No, because we, we watched, talked about I know it we last did, week. But we always do that and you never watch it. Yeah, but you do. Yeah. <laughs> so I know if I've done it, we've watched it. Because <laughs> like, you're oh, the reliable bold. one. <laughs> I did watch it, yeah. His uh, wig's a lot better. John Cena's. Yeah, his hair looks good. Well, it's a wig. Well, it's probably plugs. Or whatever, yeah. But, but the first good. time he got it, I was weirded out. I, was like, oh. I think that they've come a long way or he's just kept planting the tree forest. Yeah, kept using that. Just kept adding flock to the... Kept ra- put, you know? Do you just put seeds in, is it? Is it like I think they seeds? literally pull out individual hairs from like the back and they plant them. Literally. Is that what Mr. Beast did in a video? <laughs> yeah. We planted a, yeah, thousand, yeah. a thousand hair in, seeds in John, John Cena's, Cena's head. head. <laughs> John Cena is great. I reckon he's a really good actor. Like he's like really entertaining. You don't think so? Kind of, but I also I think feel like wrong. he wrote that movie for himself. He didn't write it. Are you That's fucking kidding me? That's what it feels like. Me? It feels like he did. I don't know, man. I don't know. I was like, it's like a Frenchy sketch. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It was literally like a YouTube sketch. You're like, oh, that could be a whole movie. I thought it was all right. I thought it was fine. I thought it was a good. There were good fun, moments. Fun. They don't really make movies like that anymore. Yeah, it was a good fun movie, a harmless little popcorn yeah. flick. That's why I thought it was going to be the movies. I, I looked at the movies for it. I didn't know it was straight to Prime. Oh, really? Yeah. No. If you don't know, so essentially Zac Efron, Zephron, <laughs> uh, Andrew Santino, and I want to say Derek. Yes. Yeah, What's his name? I'm not sure. And um, John Cena. Uh, and John Cena. Well, essentially, the first three are childhood friends, mm-hmm. and then whenever something happens, they need to blame it on someone, or they can't. They want to skip something. They blame it on their friend Ricky Stanicki. Mm-hmm. A made they, up character. Made yeah. up character that, that they invent, and then all their lives come crashing down, and they have to find a Ricky Stanicki, who is rock hard rod. Rod, bro, that was actually very funny. Oh, Here's, the um, cock songs. Yeah, well. the it cock was songs funny, dude. So good. Yeah, there were some, like some good moments. some good moments. Well, I don't know how I'd feel about John Cena's acting. I think sometimes it weirds me out. No, I think he's great. I think he's um, I think he's interesting. But yeah, it was uh, it was definitely fun. It was a good fun film. Yeah, you yeah. explained that terribly. Explain it better then. <laughs> so three childhood friends, they've made up this friend, and it gets to a point where everyone's figuring out they're lying, so they hire John Cena as the fake friend. Yes. Yeah. You just said rock hard rod and just fucking <laughs> went off topic. <laughs> oh, fuck, can Oh. Let me get some music up then. Breaking news. Prince Harry has died from sunburn. <laughs> Who will take the throne? Come back at 10 to find out more. Nice. Fuck. Yeah, all the royals are going to die throughout the, throughout the episode. <laughs> All right, um, let's get some more questions. So these are follow-on questions from last week for mm-hmm. some advice. Okay. Mm-hmm. This guy, I won't say his name because this is a uh, this could get him in some trouble. Should I leave my girlfriend to spend three months in Thailand? <laughs> <laughs> three months in Thailand like is that. a long time. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. If you're thinking about yeah. it. You want to do it. Yeah. You don't care. Yeah. At that point, if you're already... As long as you're going with someone. Oh, you could go by yourself. I'm sure you'd have fun. Yeah, but I think it's more fun being... Because you'll get lonely quick. Only uh, if he's going to like an island by himself. He can meet people. I don't know. He might not be able to. 
Why not? His girlfriend might be his only friend and then he goes by himself oh, and he doesn't God. meet anyone and he's actually rich so he stays in some five-star place by himself and it's just like, fuck, I made a huge mistake. <laughs> I guess so, but yeah. Yes, if you go on... You probably meet people when you travel. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, definitely. This uh, surprisingly different guy... <laughs> Should I dump my girlfriend before or after our overseas holiday? The fact you said our overseas holiday is a bit of a red flag. Oh. Are you going with her? Fuck, that is brutal. I'd like to think... Uh, before... I don't admit during. During? Oh, no way. Then you got to spend time with nah, her Nah, then there? you bounce. What if you've already booked places and you, you got to like... You have. You have. And then you bounce. You bounce on your booking, so you yeah. paid for them. Uh, well, he already has smart. booked places. Yeah. So you're saying he's got to go go through it knowing he's just going to drop her as soon as he gets home? I think he's mistyped and he might be going with some mates and he's saying, should I dump her before or after? If you're going with mates, obviously before. If you're going yeah. with the missus, uh, you don't want to do before. You can do during or after. During? Yeah, because like, what if, what if it's a real toxic one and she's just fine? It's like, well, I think you can't run back. But then you got to be on the flight and next to her and shit. No, you're only in the way home. But then if if like a week she's just like uh you can't take it anymore, the feelings, and you're like, ah, it's over. Bang, straight to Magaloof. Oh with the in betweeners. Yep. Yeah, party time. We're going to Americano. eat pizza. I'll go Whatever there. That song was. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and she's doing her own thing. She's probably yeah. better off without you. She'll yeah. meet some She'll beautiful Italian man. man. Yeah, French Italian. And then you both come back together for the flight on the way home and you're happy that you got some time apart. You jerk each other off in the seats, but it's just like a parting thing. Like a friendship handshake kind of situation. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Um... It is it is a tricky one, especially being in your early early twenties. Yeah. When you go overseas, you're like, "Fuck, I'm gonna miss before, out on being before single." Before is the answer. If you're already thinking about it, get yeah, it over do it, with. Do Pull it off before. the band aid. Okay, my best mate's girlfriend is super horny and talks to me about porn and shit. Should I fuck her? That's a rogue question. <laughs> 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 Maybe she's just really open about talking about that stuff. Maybe she doesn't want to fuck you. She thinks yeah, you're a freak. It could be one of those mm. ones where you think... You're the, just in the friend zone. She's yeah, just, the friendly girl you think she's yeah. flirting with you because she touches you, but she does it to everyone. Yeah. Maybe she just likes talking about porn. Yeah, some of them do. Mm. It is fun to talk about. We like talking about porn. Oh, yeah. I've seen porn before. It's great fun. Yeah. you seen it? I've seen a few. Yeah, see, we talk yeah. about it. Yeah. you seen a few. <laughs> Well, it's, uh, I think the the answer's in the first part of that the best sentence. Mate as well. <laughs> Your best mate. I think that's, Not even like just a mate. It's I the best mate. I think that's in the. And yeah. I think you're right on the nose here where he's the freak. Yeah. He's talking about porn to her, and she's Unless like, yeah. They're both cool with it. Oh, a little a little threesome. Is that what you're thinking? Or, or they just a cuck. watch. A little cocky. Yeah, let's get cocky. I don't know. Just bring it up. Let's get cocktarded in here. He sh- get- I'll tell you what you do. She's talking about it all the time. You say, oh, I saw a porn the other day and there was this girl <laughs> and she was the best mate. And just explain yeah, it and see what she thinks. Yeah, they were best friends and she kept talking about porn and, and then, then they just fucked. They but- fucked and then he watched and he was into that. Do you reckon? <laughs> I think it's crazy that we need to say this, but don't sleep with your best mate's girlfriend. Yeah. What I would do, actually. Hand job. Yeah, okay, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say you probably should talk to your best mate and say, yo, she's always talking about porn yeah, to me. Yeah. What's that about? Yeah. Um, at least, and then at least you've tried. Yeah. Yeah. Open communication is probably a good idea. It's also, we don't have a picture or anything. Oh, no. There is different times where it's like, no, no, no. And then you see a photo, you're like, Phew. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. But yeah, best friend. I'm going to say straight out no. <laughs> yeah. And just because she talks about it doesn't mean she's into you. How do I tell my parents I never want to have kids? They keep asking all my friends if I will. Oh, well, that's easy. You can do yeah. that in a lot of subtle ways. Mm. Um, go to... 
<sighs> I think this is a woman, if that helps. Yeah, that does help, actually. Yeah. That does help. Yeah, because otherwise you could be like, uh, they'll be like, what'd you get for your birthday? Vasectomy. Mm. You just let them know. Yeah, well, I'm trying to think something with the eggs. Is there a way she could cook them that would show her parents she ain't she ain't needing these eggs? Oh, yeah, I like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. some sort of subtle. She could, she could be like, guys, look, I finally froze my eggs and then just pegged them into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Shattered. <laughs> no? Yeah, cool. Okay. I think also... You don't want to always be the person saying how much you hate kids, but like there's subtle ways you can you can do it. Like a t-shirt or mm. something could just say "fuck kids." Yeah. Nah, that <laughs> might be the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, Seth Rogen is famous for not mm. wanting kids, but I think the way he does it is a little bit sad. Why? Because he's first off, he makes good points. He's like, I just don't want kids. Me and uh, they having a good time. Misses are having a good time. Completely understand, and that's a lot of responsibility to bring kids in. There's enough around too. The people can find kids if they need need them around. Yeah. But then he's always like, "Yo, it's so cool, man. Me and my lady just smoke pot all morning, and smoking the pot and hanging with the dogs." And like, can't you? You don't need to bring the pot in, or we get you smoke pot. You're a cool dude, and you can probably he smoke loves it. pot with the with I the. I guess kids. he's doing what he loves, and the kids. having kids isn't one of them. Yeah, I think. Wonder if you could get like a little person mm -hmm. um, to bring around your parents and say, "Look, I'm trying out." <laughs> okay. A kid for a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <and> back up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> trying them out how? <laughs> I don't know. Like, you know, like you know when you like in a stroller. We should have just. Said, I should have just said a dog. I mean a. Uh, <laughs> A dog, yeah. I should have so said a kid. I should have just said a kid. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, easy, okay. easy. We get a doll. A doll from Kmart. A midget doll. <laughs> <laughs> a doll from Kmart. And you're like, oh, mom and dad, I'm, look, I'm, I'm seeing if you know, having kids are for me. Mm. Um, I'm just going to try this out. And then every couple of seconds, drop it, <laughs> yeah. step on it, yeah. leave it in the freezer, yeah. stuff like that. And then yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll figure out, that's just not your, that's just they'll, not your they'll thing. they'll encourage you, don't do it. They're like, we think you shouldn't. Yeah, they'll. And you'll be like, oh, really, mom? That sucks. I was about to ask dad for sperm. Yeah. <laughs> Fertilize me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I hope that helps. Yep. Uh, my best mate has got a girlfriend and he barely goes out. How do I get him back? Boys trip to Thailand. Yeah, that's the only way. Three um, months. Tell him there's a there's a catch. You gotta yeah. get rid of it. That's that famous funeral moment when they start dating and you mm. realize they're different people now. I think it's just a part of growing up. Some I think. I think. Some of it, them it you'll never get back. Mm. I, I want to say shock collar. To get him back. Mm. Okay. So it's not, you know, you put it on and it doesn't always shock him, but it says, oh, you're coming out this weekend or you're coming to this occasion. He says, yes. Shock collar's locked in. Fine. And then <laughs> if he doesn't come, boom, shock. Okay. Ten minutes later, shock. Oh, wow. And eventually he will stop missing occasions. It's all about the ones he says he was going to be. So you're conditioning. Talking, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's conditioning. It's all about when they miss things they said they would come to mm. because they're just staying at home and watching Love is Blind. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So just conditioning. <laughs> zap, 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 zap. Another good one is, yeah, again, trace his location. So do that location sharing thing on his phone. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Whether he knows it or not. Mm -hmm. And then just show up wherever he is. I've got a good way around that, actually. You know Apple AirTags? I do. We got some for our luggage when we went overseas, just in mm. case we lost it. Tell him it's a pinger. Uh, oh. And you go into a festival and you go, quick, can you shelve this? Yep. Now you've got him. Yep. Maybe swallow it so it stays in longer. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a great that's a great mm, idea. Mm. Um what was the exact question again? So how do I get him back? Yeah. Get a pussy. 
Oh. Because I think he's dogging you for his girlfriend because obviously he's get along with her well. But also oh, I think saying, the vagina, right. the sex, the blowjobs, it all's, it's all a part of it. Mm. So you're providing good um, banter, good camaraderie. She's providing that too. She's gone above and beyond. She's swallowing his semen. Oh, my god! You're gosh. not doing that for your boy. Yeah. You've got to start doing that for your boy. <laughs> If you want him to hang okay. out with you. So gaslight him into thinking he's gay. That's not gaslighting, bro. Isn't bro, I'm just saying if you really want him finish him off. That's all I'm oh, saying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that's so you're saying that's what you and Scotty did? <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Scotty. Shout out Scotty. Um Yeah, those are the questions. Oh. oh no, wait, one last one. I like this one. It made me laugh. How to take a waz. Is that a saying? I don't know if she misspelled whiz or I've just never heard waz. How to take a waz in a public toilet as a female without sitting on the seat. I'm glad you came to us with this question. The mm. experts in peeing as females. Mm. You do pee sitting down, though. Mm, but that's not what she's asking. She's saying without sitting. So that's well, not my touching, ballpark. Without touching. So I think the best option would be to get a pee buddy and you make them sit down and you sit in their lap. But it does spray out. But that's not your problem. That's her, oh, okay, her yeah. problem. So, so her friend is sitting down on the seat. You sit on her seat and then pee through her legs. Wow. Done. Easy. Light work. Of course, you can stand facing it, stand over it. Mm. Can they? They can. They can pee standing up, but it's very like. Yeah. Yeah. It's so clean, maybe clean in the, the tank at the top, so you can put your ass on the wall. <laughs> You're standing on the toilet seat. The tank is open, getting your balance on the wall like you're doing like a wall sit. I actually never really thought about girls Pissing doing that because I just assume their toilets are clean. But I, I, I guess they're not. Oh, as, they're not, not as always. Clean, not always. Clean. I feel like there's probably like club ones are probably disgusting like ours. Not as disgusting. The good one is when the Asians uh, stand on the um, toilet seats. Oh, the how they smoke ciggies, that yeah. kind of stuff. And then they pee like that because yeah. that's why often there's signs saying don't squat on yeah, the toilets. Yeah, because they're normally made of fucking plastic. Mm. <laughs> That's why they're broken. Well, oh, the sometimes. toilets. Yeah, not the, not the Asian people. <laughs> well, I was like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Did, I you, guess. did you see the Bali flight incident? Mm. Oh, it's just classic. Whenever there's a flight to Bali, well, not every flight, but every second. If there is a disturbance on an Australian flight, it'll be to Bali. It is such a beautiful Yeah, people usually go have. there for a party. A lot yeah, of people exactly. Do. They're already getting oh. jacked. Um, I've just got the um, ad running. I uh, want them to get paid. Okay, let's <laughs> listen. So it's a disturbance. Someone's yelling at someone else. Just classic uh, plane shenanigans. We'll have a listen. Shut up. Let's give that. Can understand what the f Oh, fuck off. Oh, before you have a comment. Shut up. Well, it keeps the pausing on us, apparently, so that's not great. Do not! Cause I'm do not! Do not! Do not! Ah, it keeps pausing on us, but so it doesn't matter. You get the about? gist of it. No one, no one knows. Oh. Just some erratic, uh, methy lady going loopy. It was that... There was that um, famous one where the really hot chick went crazy, like, that person is not real. Yeah, what was that about? In America, and then we just get... uh, It it looks like Eminem. Look at that that bleach blonde hair. Oh, yeah. They made it to South Australia from Melbourne before they had to turn back. Which is not That's so annoying. People are fucking annoying, aren't they? I love it when the the rest of the plane or crowd turns on them. You could hear them, they start to go, shut up. It's the best. Sit down. Yeah. Fuck up. Especially when everyone's getting on, they know, you know, they can't. 
they won't identify you. You can just give it to them. Yeah. Your parents when didn't love you. there's enough distance that yeah. they can't get you. Yeah. Shut up, back here. Yeah. Just give, you start yeah, yeah. making shit up. Trying to get them mad. Gapey. Just, <laughs> just yelling at everything. Yeah, yeah. It's so much. So apparently uh, an old man made a comment to her as she was passing through. She got right up in his face, abused the hell out of him, smashed his glasses. Oof, she starts glasses. spitting on Ugh, other passengers. Spitting's disgusting. Ah, uh, yeah. Without, unless you ask for it. Don't uh, don't uh, spit. I don't tend to. You don't? Oh, spit on me, baby. You oh never do that? Gosh. Oh, that's fun. <sighs> People are crazy, man. People are crazy, man. People do the crazy Did you watch thing. Love is Blind? Yeah, bro. I was going to ask you about it. I know you told me about it. Did I? So I'm filming a skit about it. Demi is back in Australia. Mm. First skit I want to do is a parody of that. And you haven't even watched it? I've I've started flicking through. I watched the first season back in the day, and I started flicking through the episodes so I can get uh, ideas on a, on a parody. You only need to know the rough concept. Yeah. Um, they chat in a pod for a bit. They don't see each other, and then they're just spewing who they pick because they're usually uglier than what they thought. Mm. Something like that. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking of doing that. Did we already um, uh, improvise about everyone being blind on it? I don't know. Because I think that's what I might end up doing. I feel like someone probably did that, bro. I feel like <sighs> yeah, it's but I've too, seen it. Too easy. <laughs> I feel like it's way okay, too well, easy okay, of a parody. It? It's literally just a literal take. Yeah, okay. What should we do then? Love is blind, but it's like the curtains. <laughs> what do you mean? And it's a bunch of blinds. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now that, I'm listening. That's probably that, better, to be is honest. Is that literal enough? I think it's a bit better. Is that literal enough? <laughs> I don't know. You can still parody the concept. You don't have to change it to blind people. For yeah, it to true. Be funny. Because <laughs> the show doesn't make sense. Okay. Well, do you want to hear my sex stories then? Yes. <sighs> so I found weird sex stories <laughs> and bizarre confessions. That's what I did for my research. They're not mine. Oh. I should say they're they're not mine. Um. I don't know if I want to give you the spoiler at the start. No, I won't give you the spoiler. Okay. Okay. It's from Janet. She sounds hot. We were kissing and it was pretty good actually. And then he got aggressive with the tongue. Mm-hmm. Brackets. Which was still okay. Ooh. But then he stopped. Stared at me. Oh, no. And then licked from my chin to my forehead in one sweep of his big tongue. I almost gagged and he tried to keep licking all over. This sounds too much like something you would actually do. I don't lick full faces, bro. I swear I've probably seen you do no, that. No, I get the one uh, the one a lick tongue? like Simba. You've got the biggest tongue no, I've ever you seen. do like a lick on the forehead like Simba, but you don't go the whole face. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay. Uh, Robert. This girl I was dating was pretty adventurous and usually I was into it. But this one time, she wanted to bring food into the bedroom. Ooh. And while I figured it would be chocolate or whipped cream or something, she came back with some mayonnaise and rubbed it all over my dick. That actually makes me feel <laughs> sick. That actually does make me feel really sick. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking, like, real shit craft stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you that know, he's so if, yeasty. Uh, but it's kind of hot. That's the... It's kind of hot. I feel like <laughs> if someone was to say, what does a kinky white girl do in the bedroom? <laughs> mayonnaise. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Mayonnaise and some jats. That's... I'll tell you what was funny on that. Um, when we went to... We went separately, but Mardi Gras time, one of there was like a new sex shop and, mm. and someone at the party said, yeah, they were giving away snow cones with a uh, flavoured lube on it. And like everyone, no one reacted. And I was like... Yeah, I get that flavoured lube's meant to taste okay, but I don't want just flavoured lube on ice, dude. That's fucking rank. I swear I saw kids eating it on the way there. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's gross, that's right? so unnecessary. <laughs> it's gross. Like, I get it's a marketing... I don't, I'm not for it. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather a snow cone dildo, bro. <laughs> if you got to go one way or the other. <laughs> True. Okay. This other website I found, Tom. Okay. It's about confessions. Oh, uh, I'm not. It's it's people can confess their sins. Some of these are hectic. We don't know how true it is, um, yeah. but I found a few funny ones. Let's hear it. Confession number six, no seven six eight seven. 
Do any of you buy pens slash markers from any <laughs> big chain retailers? Do you use or even keep pens that the bank gives away? Do you chew the tips of them or put them against your face and lips mm. when you're thinking really hard? Oh, no. Well, for years and years, oh. I've been going to many different stores, many different banks, and anywhere else I can get my hands on individually sold slash communal Ooh. writing utensils. <laughs> with as many as I can get away with, I slide them one at a time <laughs> into my ass as deep as possible. Oh, come on, man. Pull them out and put them back on the shelves to be sold. At the bank, I take a handful into the bathroom with me and the same process ensues. Then I go and put them all back. <laughs> if you live anywhere near a Hoosier, then I almost guaranteed you've used one of my custom pens or markers. That is horrible. <laughs> That's so disgusting. I feel like, you know, sometimes you put a pen in your pocket and you're like, oh, the ink's leaked. And you're like, I didn't know this had brown ink. <laughs> It's that guy. It's that guy. <laughs> Every time. But I do find myself using someone's pen. Neck minute, I've got it in my mouth. Yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. Even that's gross, and that's mm. just their hands. Mm. <laughs> okay, ready for this confession? Okay. It's <laughs> a good one. Uh, well, I had parasitic worms Ooh. in my F22, female 22. I had parasitic worms in... In my guts for years. Hmm. I had them when I was nine and again when 12. I had to go to the doc and get some medicine and they went away. But the last few years I've simply been too lazy to go to the doctors and it's just so embarrassing. It was not that bad actually and no one noticed. I tried to keep everything clean down there but sometimes well, they came out and I had to clean up everything. I tried anal with my first boyfriend and guess what? He got parasitic worms even though we use condoms. My last boyfriend also got them, and we did not even do anal. He went to the doc and got the medicine to get rid of them. After them, I went as well and told them I got them from my boyfriend, so they did not even have to examine me. He believed me and gave me the medicine without questioning. Well, this is the first time in eight years that I am worm-free. Hooray, it feels so liberating. That's nasty. Just eat some of that fucking dog worming chocolate, you dirty bitch. I hope uh, <laughs> no one was eating back at home oh, listening dude. to this. Yeah, they're eating and they've got mayonnaise all over it and they're just vomiting. I like how parasitic worms. I've got something that springs to mind. You got worms? No, mm. but I think it was when I was working in radio. Mm. Someone told a story that's like scarred me about having worms and to get them out, or you could see them, if you went in the dark and shined a light, they'd pop out your asshole. Oh, wow. They're like attracted like to Like low the in light. the dark? Like they, they pop That's out because they're attra- fucking disgusting, dude. Like fishing. you gotta, uh, you got to grab them as soon mm. as their holes come out the, mm. the burrow. Mm. That's fun. It's dirty, bro. Yeah. And then the last confession is just a, a fun one. Um, no, that's not the one. <laughs> Which one am I looking at? Uh, one time I pooped in a golf hole and watched old people as they tried to make a hole in one when it already did. Oops. That's funny. That's I funny. like that one. Yeah, poop in a golf hole, I don't think it's done enough. No, it makes sense. Because the ball's going to go in there Hilarious. and they pull it out. Yeah. There's poop on That's it. That's so funny. Got him. Yeah. The other one is you poop in a letterbox and fill it with sand. Because mm-hmm. most of the time they'll dig it out with their hands because they're like, it's just sand. Oh, funny. <laughs> The other one I've heard is pooping in a Milo tin and filling it up with Milo because they won't realise. <laughs> okay, that's getting a little, yeah, it's little, getting little much. Yeah, a little much. Mm, that's how you get parasitic worms. Yes. All right, guys, I think that's about time. Um, so this week on Instagram, I'm going to ask you um, weird TikTok videos you're obsessed with. You know how people go down rabbit holes and they'll watch like certain trends yep. and it gets really fucking yep. like specific? I want to hear about those. Like breastfeeding ones. Yeah. Frenchie's always sending me naked African women and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's the good shit, bro. <laughs> um, and then you just changed something and it fucked everything oh, up. sorry, bro. <laughs> it's literally... Oh, no. We've got a shared doc. Ah, oh, yep. Where'd you put it? Um, things you disagreed with your partner slash friends on. Yes. So, like, if there's an argument, you can't come to a decision. One of you thinks this, one of you thinks that. We'll decide who's right. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, and we can be the deal breakers. Yeah. Oh, that's a great yeah. one. Please send in those ones. Any disagreement, discussions, arguments you and your partners or friends have had yep. could be as simple as whether a TV show is bad or maybe yeah. it's can you do this while yep. I'm doing this. Yes. Who knows? There we go, guys. Um, we're going to fade out with... Um, Breaking a- news or a rap? Yeah, a little rap. Okay. Just, fa- just to fade What's out. About? I don't know, what do you think? Um, maybe about giving people worms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, giving people worms. Fuck. (laughs) Parasitic worms in my asshole. Do a shit, throw them at the mailman. Mailman, get my asshole worms in your face. Suck it, Doug. Flashlight, turn it on. Are the little worms, are they gone? There's a little head poking out. (laughs) (laughs) It was really visual. King Charles is dead. Got a big worm in his head. (laughs) (laughs) That'll fucking be. I was going to go on a German. You can still go. Goodbye, King Charles. We miss you, German France. It's the issue. I got the hard flow. Dusseldorf. Don't get caught with naught. Kate's dead. Worms in the head. Yeah. Get this beat. Get this beat now. Blow job with some mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we're out of practice. Oh, we haven't done a we're rap in a while. We're out of practice. Bye. See ya.